Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and this is an ex post recording. The first episode has grown just way too long so I decided to split it in half. What you're about to see is the footage of the second half of the first session. Don't be surprised when I need it uh, when I'm often referencing to it at the, as the first session. Enjoy as always, and let's uh, go back to Hamza, chosen of the Bella. Good. Right away, we're running to the uh, next hideout. This time, I think it's the one that we originally wanted to go to. Not sure if it has mages or not. Oh boy, but it has a lot of enemies. I've heard a couple of arrows. Alright, come down, dude. One on one, me bro. Alright. Oh yeah, there are a couple of archers. We are not fighting whilst there are archers. Left, right, left, right. A little bit of sprint. And of course, we walk right into that power attack. Someone else killed them. Oh, I see. Well, that was not intended. At least we got our well deserved upgrade. Here we go. Thank you, Iron Greatsword. Uh, welcome, Steel Greatsword. And just out of curiosity, I think I want to double check that hammer. Maybe against heavier armor targets because uh, it has much more armor penetration. Swings a little bit slower, but uh, with power attacks, I think we should be fine. But we're slowly running out of healing um, consumables, so... That'll be a problem, and we're having at least five or six enemies there. So I might need to restock in town. Oh, there's another camp. Ah, I now distinctly remember what we're fighting against. That is actually a quite difficult camp overall. Okay, the enemies ran right into the cave. Because apparently they wanted to take the entrance into the fort, maybe? I'm definitely not going in that cave. This here is a standard bandit camp. But unfortunately not with a chest. This is our target and there will be quite a few enemies waiting for us. Oh yeah. Archers from up there. Let's try to isolate one or two of the targets and slowly but surely make our way into into the fort. All right, would need to have higher jump uh, in order to make that. The archers up there are a bit of a problem. Uh, I need to go around uh, the fort and that explosion by the way was an explosive arrow and yes that's a thing in requiem high level enchanted arrows just to make it a little bit more deadly you 
Just like that arrow. Good. One down. Yeah, steel arrow of shock. Let's loot it so that none of the enemies can loot it. Uh, enemies tend to loot valuable items of the others as well. Oh, careful. Do they hate one another? Hitting me? Is this guy here on my side? Oh, okay, I see. Well, it's a bit of a standoff here. As far as I'm concerned, I just want to get up there. And I do have an idea how we're going to accomplish that. I'll show you what a real <laughs> Think you can take me? All right, careful. I don't want to trap these guys. I want a fair. Oh, I want a fair fight. Is what I was about to say. I think we're completely out of healing items. Well, a bit anticlimactic. Uh, sometimes retreat is uh, the right uh, measure. So I'll be back, just like the Terminator, but. Beforehand, we need to buy some more supplies. All right, we're back. This time on the other side of the port. We have gathered some flowers and we're ready to rumble. Apparently others are as well. There's an archer. Are you kidding me? Maybe with a dagger. That was a bad idea, my friend. And we got ourselves our first proper ranged weapon. Getting some bolts. And you know what? Let's favor that. Um, this one could be right here. Okay, fantastic. So we got some special, uh, even a special bolt loaded. Holy shit, half of his hit points gone. Well, we're not a dedicated archer by any means. But you can see just how much damage bolts do against non-armored targets. So what's going on here? I was expecting more though. It better be good. Good. Nice. But to invade my home. Kidnap. The front gate is locked. So we'll need to use the mine entrance behind us. All right. We could offer more. Good luck. Quest NPC. Use the back entrance to gain access. We got another potential ranged weapon. Let's just double check. 62. Well... We got uh, the same weapon twice. And we got one poor soul over there. Gotta save our bolts. 
This guy is heavy armor, so we're testing our new toy. Come on. Don't want to let him be stuck. Come here, dude. Alright, come on. Well, that's what I get for trying to be nice and play fair. We definitely need to hotkey these uh, things again. To miss the shocks are actually hitting very nice fantastic great weapon a little bit slow but really good steel armor not bad but not what we are looking for still looking for well-made lighter armor. Steel tends to be quite heavy. All things considered, by the way, we got the Ford under control. Whilst we're regenerating health, let's just double check if there's anything that we've forgotten outside. The answer is no. So time to go in, but let's actually use the back door entrance, as suggested, because I think that will lead to less resistance. Good, we're healed up as far as we can. Time to make that uh, run and free the four. Wow, two range characters. And we try to let them deplete their ammunition. Time for you to die. We gotta be really careful. They hit like a truck. And they do have special ammunition. I know it's not the most attractive way of uh, defeating them, but running into them will not be successful either. We still have a ranged weapon. I discarded it. No. Scroll of summoning would be super helpful, but we haven't gotten that yet. Alright, they must be nearly out of ammunition. Typically 10 ish shots. They must be out of ammunition. Come on, only a few more. Pretty sure someone in the comments will say well, there was a much better way of dealing with them just charged in or take the front entrance well tell you what it is what it is now
Come on. It's almost out of ammunition. You can already see they are slow to engage. So one of them seems to be out of ammunition, which means we can we can go in. Oh yeah, there we go. Both are out. Oh, and according to his swing speed and aggression level, the guy was sufficiently leveled. Both of them are actually 20 levels above me. Holy shit, that was close. Dwarven bow, yeah, see? <laughs> that would have been incredibly unpleasant. Well, at least we got that out of the way. Get one more. Well, that this guy is more up our alley. Not the best you can do. There we go. Fantastic. I think this imperial helmet might actually be good for us later down the run, uh, line. Iron battle axe not needed for now. Let's take the soul gems. We can use them in order to refill our warhammer. Oh yeah, and we got uh, plenty of loot. Like loot-wise, this dungeon here seems totally worth it. just all of the fights are pretty much on the edge. Okay, well. Let's just double check real quick what uh, we can upgrade. But quite a bit of points. Continue with two handed. Might as well be able to actually get it to 20. <laughs> Almost 19. I think we're, uh, we're uh, leveling up. Okay, cool. Very good. Uh, for now, I think stamina is fine. We need a little bit more health just to survive those massive attacks. And with Requiem, three BF tweaks. You get a little bit of magic resist, a little bit of health, magicka and stamina for the first 20 levels, so just to get your character up, um, which means that level discrepancy at the beginning of the game really makes a lot of difference. So I think we're going to save that uh, point and my logic would be that I am kind of toying uh, to go with the barbaric uh, might. 50% less cost for um, power attacks is going to be huge. That's definitely going to be something we would want. Potion of Regeneration. Fantastic. Thank you. Salt is useful as well. Well, loot-wise, the dungeon is really, really good. Good, we now got a potion of regeneration, which for a longer period of time will uh, allow us to regain health. Actually not bad in a dungeon where, where that is needed. Okay, wish me luck. Here we go.
Good, close quarters here, not exactly what we want. There's another trap right in front of us. Like the bite of cool. Well, the trap ended him. We ate one power attack. But other than that... They actually had a problem. I'm hearing enemies. Did you hear something? Over here. All right, come on. Oh no, not another archer. Oh no, not another archer. Good, that worked out well. We have the upper hand as long as they come to us. They have... Oh no, a mage. Holy moly. Uh, do we have anything? Regeneration now would definitely be the right uh, thing to do. Magic resist would be even better. Go ahead. Try and fight. Damn you. Oh well. Oh well. Good. We're running. Running, running, running. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's pause it right away. Unfortunately, the game doesn't automatically pause when it's loading. Luckily, our race is one of the best in running, and we could use some help. Ooh, a patrol! Well, I'm not going to say no to the uh, to their help. All right, the mage is down, and we do have a problem. nothing the blue mountain flower was basically almost the last thing that we have in terms of healing Time for you to die. what a combat still going each of them individually is superior to us but if they one on one us there is a good chance that we can win this I can take you oh. 
Yep, there we go. Finally, she ran out of help. Ooh, help a shield. Uh, this one here is fantastic. Nordic, I would love to take that. Is there any chance that we drop something in return? Yeah, the Imperial, no problem. But we're still fairly heavily loaded. I tell you what, Greatsword needs to go. We're sticking with the hammer for now. Is there anything else? Oops. Porch. Ah, the to soul stones are helpful. Let's drink the resist piercing because we're fighting against an archer right away. Potato soup is running, so that's fine. And we can drop the salt. Good. I want to keep that harness. That's going to be our armor. Alright, last, last one. Walked right into our power attack, and there we go, finally. Ooh. Well, we used the patrol. Yes, was it clean? Mm. But then again, we fought indoors against nine enemies, so that was actually reasonably well executed. Potion of Resist Shock, fantastic. Wait a second, leather boots. Ours are just as good. Uh, Imperial Light. These things are surprisingly light, so maybe. They are an alternative for now. Let's just double check. 55 for 3. Well, not really. Yeah, unfortunately, not really an upgrade. Pure ammo class, maybe. Legion's always looking for strong, capable. And so what is happening? Stormcloak, sword arms getting flabby. Stay alert. Never know when those stupid dogs might keep an eye out for trouble. Oh, I thought they were just huddling on the ground. Strange behavior. Good. We certainly need. We certainly need to sell stuff. This is getting completely out of control. Be careful. Yeah. And I need to finish his quest as well. Oh boy. Let's hope we have killed everything. Alright, let's get back in. We do have a weight problem. Is that Nordic carved armor really worth it? It is fantastic, but it's medium to late uh, ter game armor. I'm most certainly going to find one as well. But it's a really, really good piece of armor. I like it. Well, we don't need those.
we are effectively full. Like there isn't much that we can carry as long as we stick with that armor. Okay, well, just gotta accept that, I suppose. I know we had a couple more corpses here. No, these were early kills. But these here, I think, are unlooted. Yes. Yes. Good loot. I like it. And the fact that we're getting three diluted uh, insights off of them is huge. You've just seen I can uh, knock open novice chests. That's part of 3BF. Basically putting a lot of the loot into the chests. And if you're high enough in level, uh, i.e. have enough hit points and just enough leveling, then this is a way for you to get extra loot. Oftentimes there are even... Um, portions of insight in there so that this is part of actual level progression basically rewarding that you finish the dungeon yeah I remember those ones what? There are still enemies. Oh no, three enemies. Oh, that's not good. I'm wondering, shall I really open that? Not sure. making a little bit of noise in the hopes of separating them. I don't want to fight in these corridors. Alright, come on. Heavy armor, one-handed. Oh. Good, so two of them down. I think the third one died to the trap. At least I heard a trap. Lots and lots of cash loot. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Potion of healing. Leather armor. That could be an upgrade, potentially. That could be an upgrade for now. Problem is... No, it's actually not a problem. This is straight up an upgrade. Oh yeah, Hamza might look a little bit strange now with that elven helmet, but we're good. We're a bit overloaded. Wow, can't remember the last time that I was so massively overloaded in a dungeon. I do not see where exactly she or he is at. 
But I am intending to use the trap in order to kill or end or at least heavily injure them. Or not. Or we're just missing. No damage whatsoever. I think we need this here. We don't have any short term, any other short term buffs. Oh wow. I figured it would be a lot of damage. <laughs> no damage whatsoever. And just double checking, do we have a full soul stone? Yes, we have one. I think our hammer is gone. Uh, no more charges here. Which means we are going to recharge him. Can't do that. Well, I can take you close. All right. This is the end. We need more stamina. Way more stamina. Come on, bring it on. Ouch. Can't wait to count out your coin. That was a solid hit. Another one. Some more healing. No, but I know what we can do. Keep it going. Even her shield bash does just as much as our normal attack. I think we're heavily under leveled here. Yep, that was a solid hit. Enough. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Dwarven armor. Not bad either. Nordic boots, fantastic. But we do not have... We do not have any room for any of that. All right, that was pretty, and it was a bit cheesy, I must admit, but we are running out of resource. Oh, still two enemies. How many more hit point potions do we have? Okay, we still got some. Careful here. Ah, they are further upstairs. Okay, cool. We have enough room to kite. Good, next, next up we're going to charge in.
Good. Out of curiosity, let armor, bear light bracers, no upgrades. Okay. All right, and we're out of here. Not even going to bother. That was a solid fireball. See you later, alligator. We got most of the stuff. I do really not fancy myself fighting against the mage. Not when he's on the other end of a room and uh, just can fireball whenever he decides to. I assume they will not follow us. Rather be safe than sorry. What a first camp. Oh, and we got the bounty. And where exactly is Stelio? There we go. Dude, you survived. Congratulations. There is no need to go in. Really. Yes. All right, the fort is yours. Thank you for your help. Anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again. Good. What's our reward? Greater detect life. Well, that's actually not a bad spell. Uh, we can use them uh, that one later. Ooh. So, what can we do? Heavy armor. Two-handed and more heavy armor. We haven't really reached level three in the first episode, but I think this is a good point for a pause. Hamza has done reasonably well in the first episode. To be fair, uh, melee combat isn't really my strong suit. I tend to be a mage player in Skyrim, but I figured... This is way more exciting, and I can tell you, uh, my heart rate is still pumping from that last fight. We almost died, like that was super close. Uh, if I was to do it again, I would potentially not go and take that camp. This here looks like way too high level compared to what we've done. Uh, and the way that Requiem works, it really doesn't encourage you uh, to uh, fight much higher uh, level there's risk versus reward but some of the armor that we've looted it's just not really usable for us right now anyways that's it for uh, today thanks for watching if you enjoy the content leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite skyrim build is in the comment mm -hmm. section take care and see you later bye bye